and welcome to Super Dwarf Sundays at Behavior Education. I'm Lori with Behavior Education. This is Tao Seti from Reach Out Reptiles. Today is Sunday, September 15th, 2019, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about ecdesis. If you saw last week's episode, you know that TC spent most of that previous week in his humidity box or coiled on one of his shelves. Well, this week he spent even more time in his humidity box, not coming out at all for most of the week. This has apparently paid off because I was greeted by a very bright and alert Tau Seti Friday night. When I went to check on him, he was out and about heading for his swimming pool and he had left me with a fresh, complete shed to find. I was really happy. Upon examination, TC's freshly shed skin was complete and all in one piece, eye caps to tail. It was even still moist to the touch. Garrett had warned me when TC first arrived that super dwarfs don't generally produce whole sheds and that it may come off in pieces. I was pleased to see that wasn't the case with TC. I guess he knows what he's doing with all of his swimming and all the time he spends inside his humidity hides. This was the first complete shed cycle since arriving here, and the shed looks perfect. So with that said, for those who don't really know that much about the snake shedding process, like some of my own friends and family, here's where the science lecture starts. The footage of shedding is from one of my Brettles pythons because I haven't been lucky enough to catch TC mid-shed yet. I'm just thankful TC produced a nice, healthy shed for me to find. Ecdesis means shedding, except that it's a much cooler sounding word. The epidermis is the outer layer of the snake's skin containing the stratum corneum and live cells that produce keratin. Ecdesis is the shedding or sloughing of the stratum corneum, which renews the outer covering of epidermis on a regular basis. When the actual act of shedding the old skin starts, most snakes will rub their faces and heads on rough objects to loosen the skin and pull the old skin away from and off of the new fresh skin, which is the new layer of skin underneath. The old skin is usually left behind in one piece, including the eye caps or spectacles, which are the scales that cover the eye. I always check my snake sheds to make sure both eye caps are present so that I know they weren't retained on the snake's eye. Between the snake's new skin and old skin is a layer of lamellar lipids, organelles that secrete fatty oils, which really become evident when the snake's eyes appear blue or gray right before shedding. These oily fluids build up underneath the old skin to loosen it up and separate it from the new skin beneath. Snakes may hide, soak in their water, spend more time in humidity hides, and be less active than usual when preparing to shed. They may also be less amenable to handling and less likely to eat, especially the, during the time when their eyes appear cloudy or blue. I hope you found this interesting and educational. Thank you for watching. Be sure to join us next week for another edition of Super Dwarf Sundays. I'm sure that TC will be active this next week, having just shed, so tune in to see what antics he's up to. Until then, always try to be kind and love your animals.